there's so many individuals out there that are so talented for different things and never accomplish anything. The world is filled with talented people and they never accomplish anything. The body has limitations, the mind does not. We focus so much on what goes on from the neck down that we forget it all starts from here. If you're not mentally ready, you're never really physically prepared. Why most people never achieve their goals while two or three percent really achieve a high level of success. The people who took this one action every single day were the ones who achieved their goals and dreams more often than anybody else. Finding your passion is also one of the biggest questions. You just gotta try everything. You just gotta keep trying. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, you have to be motivated to at least try. I firmly believe that everybody on this planet has a gift. It's your job to figure out what that gift is. Then it becomes your job to decide whether you're going to act on that or not. There is nothing we cannot do. It's really a matter of setting a focus goal because we have a target and miss it every time. Picking a target and then picking the steps along the way and realizing that with all the resources, all the capital, all the expertise is there. But ultimately, it's only going to be tapped if that target is in your heart and your soul. What changes our whole life is action. Why don't we take action? Fear. What are we going to do to get ourselves to do it? We got to make sure that we push ourselves through it by making a decision. The point in which change happens is a decision. Every change in your life that you want will come from something simple, a decision. See, a real decision is not like a preference. It's not like where you say, I'll try it and see. That's not a decision. Decision comes from Latin. It means like incision to cut off from. Decision is when you cut off any possibility except the thing you're committed to. It's like, that is it. A decision is the first step. A decision is like a war. I gotta do this or that. All right, I'm gonna make myself do this. But commitment is when you now, after you've decided, you commit to do this for the long term. And that's hard and easy as a pattern. Don't wait until you're 25 or 35 or 45 years old. Start building that discipline right now to get what you want because there's 7 billion other people on this planet trying to get it, trying to get this thing called success. See, most people think success is a straight line. I'm gonna get out of high school, I'm gonna get a job, and everything's gonna be fine. That's not how it plays out, folks, okay? This is how it plays out. Guy decides he wants something, and the line gets all squiggly. See, that's really what success looks like. Discipline means taking the hard road, the uphill road, to do what's right. Most people stop at failure. We've all failed at things. I'm going to continue to fail at stuff. Right? It's the most powerful tool you can use. But it all depends on how you use it. And most people are just satisfied with ad. There's always a next level. Your definition of greatness and what you want to achieve could be totally different than somebody else's. You know, we always say, no one wants to be first, okay, because they're afraid of the consequences that come with doing something first. You can't be a failure. You're the first to do something. If you're the first to do something, you can't be listed as a failure. There's two types of people. People that are gonna get what they want and the life they want, people that don't. Two types of people, folks. People that get the life they want and everybody else. A lot of people out there that are constantly trying to improve themselves by looking for the one change. The one change, right? The one change in their life that's gonna make their dreams come true. 
this is one thing. And it isn't ten things. It isn't a hundred things. It isn't a quick path. There are no shortcuts. Getting better isn't a hack or a trick or a one change that you need to make. Getting better is a campaign. A campaign is a weekly, it's an hourly fight. Power knowledge is profit, right? Faster. Obsessing fight that doesn't stop against weakness and against temptation and against laziness. It's a campaign of discipline. A campaign of hard work and dedication. It's waking up early, going to bed late, grinding out every second of the single day. Just start doing it. Take that first step and make it happen. Get out. Get out here and now. Every one of us who's a goal achiever sets goals, but very few people think about the obstacles that are there and them overcoming the obstacles. And in order to become an amazing goal achiever, you have to accept the fact that there will be obstacles, but you also have to prime your brain to recognize the obstacles and to teach it that you can overcome it. And you can do that in your mind first and you back it up with a plan. And guess what? You will start to become a goal achiever instead of just somebody who sets a goal. If you don't like the way your career is, or your business is, change it. If you don't like your body, change it. If you don't like your relationship, change you first. Because if you change it, you'll bring you to the next one. Maybe it's time to change it too, but change yourself first. If you want to change anything in your life, you have a choice. So don't get it wrong. I just want to make you aware of this big obsession. Everything in our life changes the moment. I'm in a real decision. See you there. How do I have the possibility to commit something? What do you buy? And instead of sitting in that job for the next 10 years, go do your thing. You've got plenty and plenty of time. People want to know how to stop the laziness. They want to know how to stop the procrastination. They have some idea in their head. You know, some workout program or a clean diet, you want to start a business, you want to write a book or make a movie or build a house or a computer or put together some mobile application, where do you start? You start right here. And when do you start? You start right now. Because the idea isn't going to execute itself. And the book isn't going to write itself. And the weights out in the gym, they're not going to move themselves. You have to do it, and you have to do it now. You want to get better? You want to self-improve? Stop looking for a shortcut. And go find your discipline. And find your guts and your passion and your drive and find your will. And then, and then you will find your freedom. All right, y'all. So, of course, I thought the video was dope. That's why, you know, I decided to uh, 
share with y'all is one thing that he said in a video. Um, and he said, there are people who get what they want and then there's everyone else. And I watched this video and bookmarked it probably like uh, four or so days ago, I think. Um, but that part stood out to me above all else. So again, he said, there are people who get what they want and then there's everyone else. And so when he said that, I automatically had to think to myself, like, okay, Katie, which one are you? Like, are you somebody who gets what they want? Or are you somebody who complained about everything that you don't have, but you still don't make a difference? Because if you're not going to make a difference, then what you opening your mouth for? You know what you're supposed to be doing, but you're still not doing it. So why do you keep having that same conversation with yourself? Month to month, it's the same thing all over again. Oh, I need to do this better, right? I need to have better spending habits. I need to just budget my money better in general. I need to spend more time with my family. I need to be more present in the moment. Whatever it is, whatever conversation you keep having with yourself, if you know what it is that you need to be doing, then why don't you do it? Earlier, when we got back home from church, as soon as I walked in the house, that was one of the first things that I did because I'm like, bro, I'm tired of having the same conversation with myself. Like, I know what I need to be doing. I know what I can do better. I know what I need to do better. Don't nobody got to tell you what you need to improve on because if you're aware, if you're aware, because not everybody is, but if you're aware, you know what you need to do better. You don't need no accountability partner if you're aware either you're going to do it or you're not. Having that accountability partner is only some extra cushion. But if you're really trying to get what you say you're trying to get, if you're really trying to go after whatever it is you want to go after, don't nobody got to tell you to wake up and get on it. Let's just use Forex, for example. Don't nobody got to tell you to come and practice marking up your charts. Don't nobody got to tell you to try and understand candlestick patterns and understand what they mean. Learn how to read the language because that's how I'm, you know, starting to look at the market. Nobody got to tell you all that stuff if you're looking at Forex as a way to free your family, as a way to break financial curses or generational curses in general. Don't nobody tell you to gotta go, that you got to go and bust your ass. Nobody got to tell you that if that's what you really want. So again, there are people who get what they want and then there's everybody else. And I want you to consider for the entire month of March, throughout this entire call, which one are you? Are you somebody who gets what they want or are you everybody else? And I know, I can already answer that for you. I know you're not basic, right? I know you're not basic. So because I know you're not basic, I know you're not everybody else. I'm not even gonna give you a chance to put yourself in that category. I'm gonna automatically say and affirm that you are somebody who gets what they want. Now, all we gotta do is show up and do the work. And that's what we're about to do right now uh, on this call. So first, earlier today, um, Caleb and I were moving around quite a bit. So before the market opened, um, I only marked up a few pairs. I think it was three. Um, yeah, I, K, I, Chef, I, N, Z, D. Those are the only three that I got to um, today. So we'll mark up a couple more on call and I will publish them. Um, everybody who joined trade school last week, I want to briefly uh, go over where you can find all of the trade ideas. Trade ideas are simply what I see in the market. That's it. It's what I see in the market. It's how I, um, I guess you could say, predict that the market is going to move. Please understand, you do not have to take every trade or every setup that I post or that I sent in the chat as an execution. That is totally up to you. Uh, I just dropped the link in the chat box to these trade ideas. You can go back to any trade idea, click on them. Uh, once you click on the trade idea, there's a play button, which I'm about to show you right here. Once you click this play button, it's gonna let you know what price did, right? It's gonna let you know how price moved in the market. That's it. So if you were to take any of these trades, uh, or if you just wanna go back and see, hey, you know, um, do her markups hit TP or not? And for those of you who are new, TP is take profit, meaning the, the um, app MetaTrader 4 is going to take you out of the um, trade in profit. If you want to go back and say, hey, do her trades hit take profit or no? This is how you can go back and do that. Um, I cannot go back and alter these trades setups once they've already been done. So you can go back for yourself and you can see if those trades are hitting TP, meaning would you have made money or not, so on and so forth. So um, again, everybody who is new, make sure you get your first one-on-one -on -one scheduled. Um, that way we can go way more into detail um, on all of this stuff and I can make it make a lot more sense to you. So as I'm going over these pairs, if you have any questions about anything, definitely utilize the chat box. Um, I have the chat box pulled up. 
once I kind of break down one pair, um, usually after that, I just kind of run through the other ones just to get as many markups out as I can. So if I'm going too fast or anything, definitely stop me or post your uh, question or comment in the chat box and then I can get it done. So I marked up eye care earlier. It's not doing anything yet. Uh, it broke, right? It broke right here, but it did not close above. So there's something that we can do right now um, because our markup has not come into play yet. Um, let's see right here. About the break and close. It broke and closed. But me personally, um, I know Kelsey and I have talked about this before, and I think me and Caleb have talked about stuff like this before too. Um, this break right here, that's not a, a strong enough break and close for me. Like if it would have closed up here, then okay, that's a little bit different. But this wasn't a good enough close for me. So personally, I probably would have never ended this trade. Um, but sometimes, depending on the pair, I know with like gold, because it's way more volatile, um, sometimes I will see it break, uh, break and close a little bit. And then Caleb and Kelsey would be like, bro, why you didn't take the trade? That was a break and close. And I'd be like, uh, you know, that wasn't a good enough close for me. But the validity of gold versus our chef is way different. If this was a trade or if this pair was gold, then I would have, you know, taken a trade, but that's a little bit different. Our chef, to me, it turtles. It goes really, really slow. Really, really, really slow. So I probably wouldn't have ended this trade on the break and close. I would just wait on another break and close uh, and then see how, uh, see how that goes. Let's see. Exactly, Tatiana. The market be trying to trick us with that little baby um, breaking claws above, and I ain't trying to get caught in that. <laughs> exactly. The other one that I marked up earlier was INZD. Uh, INZD has already hit TP2. This trade idea was published at like um, maybe two o'clock. No, I take that back because we weren't at home yet. Between three and four, this trade idea was posted. Um, so within the last hour, uh, it hit TP2. So if you did follow that trade idea and if you took in odd NTD, then um, your trade has hit TP2. All right, now let's go to odd JPY. This is an old markup, so I'm going to clear everything off and we're going to start from the top. Y'all know I like to start on the daily time frame just to get a bigger picture of what's going on. Since I trade on the 15 minute, I want to make sure that. I am trading uh, with a full picture in mind because on a 15 minute, I can't see uh, what's going on in the market completely. I can only see what is on my screen for that 15 minute time frame. So I'm going to get my support and resistance on the daily, move down to the four hour, do the same thing. Uh, the biggest thing that I have started to do lately is just look for confluence. That lets me know. Um, for those of you guys who are new, Confluence is like, okay, hey, on this time frame and this time frame, my support and resistance align. That's what I look for when I'm doing my top-down analysis, which is going from a higher time frame to a smaller time frame. I'm looking for areas of confluence. So there is my four-hour support. Here is my resistance. And when you guys are marking up your chart, like if you are, you know, going along on your market with me right now and you don't see why my support or resistance is in the area that it is and your support or resistance is in a different area that's okay everybody sees the market differently don't feel bad if your support or resistance is not the exact same coordinates as mine that is totally fine as long as we are in the same direction right that's all that matters i may not see the market like you do for example me and kayla live in the same house we see the market completely differently completely differently he will see patterns that I probably would have never seen at all. He understands the market way, way better than what I do. So I just got to be simple with it with my couple lines. Maybe you might catch me with a box. You might catch me with an eclipse or something. If I'm trying to feel myself, you might see a head and shoulders and you might see me utilize the fibs. But that's all I'm going to see in the market. I can't really just pull up, you know, trade and view and say, oh, Price finna sell, price finna buy. I gotta go from top to bottom and then make my decision on if I'm gonna enter a trade for a buy or sell. It's not like that with Caleb. So don't feel bad if you, once you start to learn better, if you don't see the market the exact same way that we do, because again, everybody sees the market differently. Everybody sees the market differently. Um, I was going to, let me see. I was going to put a resistance right here for my one hour. Let's mark it for now. 
um, but I want to look left, right? I want to look left and see when has price been low enough before it is to touch my one hour resistance. That is what I'm looking for. Okay. September is the last time price was down here. So maybe we may get price to slow up in the area. So for now, uh, I'll utilize this as my one hour resistance. Um, but for here, I'm gonna say buy at the break and close. Buy at the break and close of, what coordinate is this? 71.091. So we're going to buy at the break and close of 71.091. And then now I want to establish my take profits. To me, take profits is just another way of looking at support and resistance. You would never see me say, hey, my first TP is 30 pips. My second TP is 50 pips. My TPs are going to be whatever I foresee the market giving me. That, that's going to be my TP. So look, this is hefty. That's a 98 pip TP. No ma'am, no ham, or turkey. I want to secure my profit along the way, right? So now what I'm going to do, top down for my 15 minutes so I can see more price action. I want to see more price action. So now this is going to be my TP1 right here. 71.394. I'm just going to walk this thing up. TP2, 71.814. And then what was my initial TP1 is now my TP3 is 72.059. So if price continues to walk up this far, I will have secured 98 pips. But my first TP is not going to be 98 pips. Don't even make sense because how I see the market is like this. Katie, who you think you are to tell the market you're going to secure 98 pips in your first TP? That's how I see the market. Why do I see the market like that? Because anytime you try to tell the market what you wanted to do, I promise you it's going to humble you. And I'm not trying to be humble. I'm trying to secure the bag. So I'm going to follow along with what the market is telling me, what the market is giving me. And that's just going to be that. Like, that's, that's that on that. Like, like that's it. I'm going to give or I'm going to take what the market going to give me. Exactly. Tatiana ain't trying to get my feelings hurt. I'm going to take what the market going to give me. And that's just going to be that. So now y'all know the last time price was this low, um, like I said earlier, was September 2019. So I did go to the four-hour time frame. That way I can uh, back out of my screen a little bit more. Hold on one second, y'all. Back out of my screen a little bit more see more price action um, on the four hour chart in a smaller uh, frame, smaller view. Um, that way I can see where I want my TPs to be. No, price was this low and okay. I don't know if price has been all the way down to my support ever, like ever. Let's see. Let's go to the daily. Okay, yeah. Price has been this low. The last time that it was this low was in 2009. So on the bottom, um, I'm just going to walk down from my support about 20 pips. That was a long time ago when price was even a little bit that low. Okay, y'all. And welcome, Sun Sun. <laughs> welcome, Mr. Columbus. In the back. Let's see. All right. So my support is at 69.375. And all I'm going to do is walk my take profit down right here about 20 pips to 69.075. 69.075. Where'd it go? Why 
other places down here. Okay, y'all. I'm tripping. Let's just go 69 even. Let's go 69 even. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> if y'all are about to play, my friend, then I'm going to need y'all to play in the back. I got to be close to mama. I'm trying to learn how to trade. All right, there go my TP right here for RJPY. And I'm just going to have one TP. If it give me that break and retest, then we'll ride at 20, pips, 20 or so pips. Uh, and then I will reevaluate. So uh, I'm about to post RJPY. I showed you guys where to access the trade ideas. And I posted the link in the chat. All right, does anybody have any questions so far? Any questions so far? Yes. I will say that, um, let's see. There are a few things that I marked up that I was going to go over uh, with Davion because mm -hmm. uh, we had planned to do like a one-on-one uh, since I'm fairly new to it. I mean, I have a general, you know, understanding of the charts. Of course, I want to work on uh, breaking close and um, a little bit more about um, take profits. Okay. But I think it's because I learned a little better with one-on-one. -on -one, that's why I set that up with him. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's that's basically where I'm at. I'm just letting you know where I'm at. Okay, so have you already gotten your uh, one on one sessions with him so far? Uh, n n uh, no, I've uh, met, uh, met with him a couple times and uh, we went over a, a few things. And uh, we talked about uh, this week meeting up and just me writing down uh, all my questions and what I want, you know, for this week and mm -hmm. basically just going over them. So that's what we're going to do sometime this week. Okay, good. Just like you said, uh, one thing that I want to point out that he did say is writing everything down and then knowing what to go over for the week. If you don't know what your plan is for the week, this is for anybody, you know, in regards to trading, just life in general. If you don't know what you, you know, looking at to accomplish during the week, how do you expect to accomplish anything? How is that? It just, it's not just going to magically happen just because you thought it one time. That's not how things work. Like, say them out loud, write them down, mm -hmm. tell somebody so they can hold you accountable. You can't just up and expect your life to be better and you're not even tracking your progress. Exactly. So that's a nugget for all of you guys. Track your progress. Tell somebody else so they can hold you accountable. So that way, you know, you can never say, oh, well, if it don't work, did nobody know that I was trying to do it anyway? No, fam. Dream big, be bold, and tell somebody else uh, what your dreams and goals are. So I know I'm running through this, but like I said, I told you guys I would. I usually go into a lot of detail on the first pair, and then after that, I just kind of run through uh, the rest of them. A lot of you guys who are new have already asked me how much time does it take uh, to mark up a chart to have an idea what's going on in the market. While he was asking me his question, or not really asking me his question, but just giving me some insight. Uh, on what his plans are for the week, my chart is marked up. It does not take forever. It does not take a long time. Learning how to trade does not take a long time either. The hardest part, in my opinion, is mindset, being disciplined, being consistent. Those are the hard parts of trading. Marking up charts, understanding candlestick patterns, that's the easy part. If you have a fifth grade education, you can do this. It's not difficult. Like, I know it might look difficult, because you have no idea what you're looking at, but I promise you, it's not. I promise you, it's not. I will say the uh, first week of doing this, this chart was very intimidating. <laughs> and uh, so after I got on and uh, started watching videos and just doing research in general myself, you know, just going through a little by little, 
mm-hmm. at, at first I'd overwhelm myself <laughs> a little bit and then I had to take it easy. So I'm just watching a couple videos at a time and it slowly started to come to me that next week. Right, yep, as it should, as it should. You should definitely, this is for everybody, speak fully yourself at the beginning because you don't really, you don't really know what you're doing. And if you try to look at everything at once, right? Like if I go to, um, I don't know, let's say I just go to a pair that I had marked up a long time ago, right? Then you're like, wait a minute, what, what does any of this, what does any of this mean? Like, how did you know to buy right here? Or how did you know how to sell right here? You're looking at the finished product. You're looking at the finished product and you don't, this is with anything. Like if somebody was teaching you how to drive a car on your first day, right? They're not going to say, Hey, come on, let's get in this car and let's drive to Walmart. That's not how that works. Cause fam, you're going to wreck. You don't know what you're doing. Even if you were, I don't know, baking a cake, you don't expect to go and just pull the cake out the oven when you haven't even mixed the ingredients. That's not how that works. It's literally the same thing with trading. And that's what those one-on-ones are for. We are going to start on a base level. You know, have you understand something as simple as when to trade? You know, why you can be uh, profitable trading in the foreign exchange market, stuff like that. So what you're looking at, like I said, this is the finished product. Um, I didn't start right here. I started out with the basics and I promise you the basics will take you a long way. Like I was telling you guys, I don't do a whole lot of stuff on my charts because it's confusing to me, right? I like simple because usually I'm entering trades on my phone and I'm looking at my trading view on my phone. If did I already tra- this project you want? I did. Okay. If I am um, pulling out my phone to look at certain, you know, certain markups, if I have a ton of stuff on my screen, I'm going to be confused. So that's why I like to have my charts literally as simple as simple can get. Like my charts are like, <laughs> like all the way dumb, dumb down. And that just, that's what works best for me. That's what works best for me because like I said, I'm pulling them up on my phone and I don't want all the extra stuff. No matter what chart I go to, whenever I mark it up, all of my lines and colors are going to be the same. My blue lines are take profit. My black lines are either entries, um, support, or resistance. If I see a possible fake out area, it's going to be red. You know, my retest area is going to be yellow. Like it's the same across the board. So no matter if I'm on my computer or on my phone, I know exactly what I'm looking at. So all of um, the odd pair trade ideas have been posted. Uh, again, I will show you guys where, just so you can see um, that as I post them, they upload automatically. They upload automatically to the screen. You guys can see right here. So if you guys want to go and copy the same numbers that I have, the same entries, the same take profit, the same support and resistance, all of the odd pairs that I've just marked up today are right here. Um, depending on uh columbus's move in the next 30 minutes to an hour um i will go into the rest of the pairs that i usually mark up which is euro i euro cad euro chef euro gbp euro jpy euro usd uh otherwise i will mark them up sometime in the morning um uh, our next training call is in the morning at 9 30. In the morning at 9 30 we'll just kind of see how all of our odd pairs are doing and if i get to mark up uh euro pairs tonight then we'll see how those euro pairs played out other than that in the morning we're going to focus more on candlestick patterns we're going to focus more on candlestick patterns usually on sunday i just try to mark up charts for you guys to watch uh and give you some entries if i see some while we're on call i don't see any tonight so i'm not going to give you any execution uh but in the morning we're going to focus more on candlestick patterns because again i see candlesticks as a language if i was speaking spanish right now and you were not a spanish speaker no matter how passionate i was about what i was talking about you would have no idea of how to understand my language because you did not speak it that's the market the market is a six point something trillion dollar day market now it was 5.3 but it said it has increased it don't matter how much money the market giving out a day it can give out 10 trillion dollars a day but if you don't understand what it's saying, right? If you cannot read the candlestick patterns, babe, you're not gonna make no money. You're not gonna make any money. The skill is the simple part. The mindset, the discipline, the consistency, that's the hard part. Not being greedy, that's the hard part. You know, not learning to not be attached to money, learning to 
get rid of, you know, everything that we was taught about Uncle Joe about money. Those things are the hard part. But the skill itself, I promise you guys, it is so, 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 so easy. Uh, so in the last couple of minutes, I want to go over um, for the new people, which we'll go over this uh, on your one-on-one -on -one, uh, together in more detail. You're going to have access to this page. On this page, there are different training videos about different um, different stuff, knowing when to buy and sell, knowing how to mark up support resistance, knowing when to trade, certain vocabulary words. Um, you guys also have access to um, an Excel workbook. This Excel workbook goes over uh, a finance tracker. It goes over the four different trading plans that we have for you guys to follow. This is where you can download um, this um workbook at chris i'll make sure you get access to this website as well um make sure you have an account on here but this is where you can get access to all this stuff at so like i tell you guys all the time if you fail it's not because we didn't set you up for success like whether i want to show up or not i'm going to show up for you but you have to be willing to do the same so i love you guys we have like less than a minute at this point um i love you guys i hope you all have an amazing week hope you all have an amazing month outline your goals for march outline your non-negotiables and make sure you show up for yourself again the next training call is in the morning at 9 30 uh, a.m central standard time we do have reality check in the morning at 6 6 45 um, a.m central standard time so i will talk to you guys soon if you need me shoot me an sos text or post it in the chat and i will talk to y'all soon have an amazing night thank you no problem we can I schedule my one-on-one. -on -one.